Imagine an internet where you own your data, control your digital identity, and interact without middlemen. Welcome to Web3, the next evolution of the internet. But how did we get here, and what makes Web3 so revolutionary? Let's break it down. The internet started with Web1, a read-only version where static websites dominated. Then came Web2, the interactive internet we know today, dominated by big tech giants like Google, Facebook, and Amazon. But this centralized system led to privacy concerns, data misuse, and control by a few corporations. Web3, powered by blockchain technology, is here to change that. It's a decentralized, trustless network where users control their data and digital assets. Instead of centralized servers, Web3 applications, called dApps, run on a network of nodes, ensuring security, transparency, and censorship resistance. In Web2, your data is stored on centralized platforms. Think of social media, search engines, or e-commerce platforms where they track, control, and monetize your data. But in Web3, you own your data. For example, if you use a Web3-based social media platform, your content isn't stored on a company's servers. It's stored on a decentralized network, accessible only by you or those you choose to share it with. With Web3, intermediaries aren't needed, smart contracts, self-executing pieces of code, handle transactions, and agreements. How does Web3 affect your everyday life? Let's look at a few examples. Decentralized finance, DeFi borrow, lend, or earn interest on your crypto holdings without needing a bank. NFTs, non-fungible tokens these digital assets give artists, creators, and gamers ownership and control over their work. Decentralized social networks, platforms that give users control over their content and privacy without algorithms controlling what you see. Whether you're investing, creating content, or building applications, Web3 is making it easier to take ownership of your digital life. Web3's key benefits include ownership and privacy. Users control their data, making it harder for companies or governments to exploit it. Censorship resistance. Content can't be easily blocked or removed by central authorities, global access. Web3 provides financial and digital inclusion, especially for people in regions with limited access to traditional banking systems. Challenges in the future of Web3. While Web3 promises a lot, it's not without challenges. Issues like scalability, accessibility, and user experience still need improvement. But developers worldwide are building solutions to make Web3 faster, more user-friendly, and accessible to all. Web3 is more than just a new internet. It's a shift toward decentralization, transparency, and user empowerment. As it grows, it will change how we interact online, do business, and protect our digital identities. Are you ready to embrace the future of the internet? Subscribe and stay updated on Web3 innovations that will shape the world.